Hey everybody, happy Wednesday Stampin' Friends. Jody Breckbill Stampin' Queen coming at you live from my stamp studio. Yes, kids, I am actually here and I am actually live today, finally. So let me get my comments on. If you are on with me, come on in, give me a like or a love. Let me know that you're here. If you're catching the replay, hello friends. So you guys might be finding me on YouTube. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm live every Wednesday or you might be finding me on Facebook as well and you can follow me here so that way you'll receive notifications when you see that little bell icon click on that and you can say to be alerted whenever I am live so there's my friends coming on this morning hello everybody so sorry I have been MIA for the last couple of weeks it was a little crazy hectic here but um, we had a wonderful vacation uh, we took we moved my daughter successfully to New York and so now I am working on getting myself back in order back in the stamp studio and back into the swing of things so let's go over a couple of things there were some cool announcements that happened while um, not while I was away, but I guess this week. So want to make sure you guys are aware we are still in celebration, final month of celebration right now. So we have the rest of Oc October. No, I'm jumping way far ahead. What's wrong with me? August. We have the rest of August to receive our freebies, but I want to make sure you guys are aware a few items are sold out already. So what I have heard, the update is hippos and dyes. They are hoping that there is enough to last through the end of August, but these are while supplies last. So should they sell out, they will not be getting more in, but they are hoping, and I'm talking U.S., so if you're not from the U.S., things might be different in your market, uh, but we hope that we will have enough dyes to get through the end of, of um, August. Rings of Love. If you may have heard over the weekend, these did sell out, and initially everything was while supplies last, but a new shipment was on its way, and these are made in the U.S., so a new shipment did come in, and we do have Rings of Love designer series paper available while supplies last. So it's very, very popular. Then, of course, the cards and envelopes, they sold out a while ago, like three weeks into celebration. Super popular. They sold out. So we do not have those anymore. We do have stylish sketches. We do make our stamp sets here in the U.S. And so we are able to control those stamp sets. Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello, friends. Uh, silver and gold DSP, still good on that. Woohoo, still good on that one. And here, this one was my prediction. I knew that this was going to be a hot seller and these are now gone. So if you got the tree lot dies, good for you. Um, they are no longer available. They are totally sold out and we will not be getting more in. The stamp set though, you guys, is still available because it is a catalog item. So you can still get the stamp set. It is back in stock. It had sold out initially as well, but the dies we will not have any more of. So watch eBay. You're going to see those dies on there for big money. I guarantee you. Uh, Wonderful World, that's another one that you may have heard sold out over the weekend, but it is now back in stock. We do still have that one. So you get the stamp set and the DSP. One of my favorites, probably really up there, like top one or two. I love this one. All right. Then, of course, your host set is the Perfectly Pomegranate, and that is still available. And then, of course, we have that amazing join special with the planner. So if you want to save yourself 20 to 25 percent, hop over onto my team because you will get 20 to 25 percent off of everything that you choose. Plus, my team is pretty dang awesome. Just saying. I think some of them are on here. So any moveless gals, shout out to you guys. Now, what I wanted to make sure everybody's aware of, too, is that we do have more celebration items. So these are current items from the catalogs that you can now earn for free the month of August. So if you already got everything you wanted out of this little mini, maybe check over here. So as you're purchasing items for maybe Halloween, your fall card making, um, Christmas, and you're hitting that $50 and $100 range, this is really a blurry image, but I'll tell you, we got the timber embossing folder, the gingham embossing folder, seashells 3D embossing folder, brushed metallic uh, cardstock, and the craft gift boxes, and the silver foil pack. Those are all free 
with $50. Then at 100, you can get the Flowers of Home dies, the Dots and Spots dies, Daffodil dies, and the Aspen Tree dies. Those are at $100 value. So check those out. And those, um, we should be able to have those all the way through August because they are catalog items. But I want to make sure you guys are aware the numbers are different. So you want to make sure these numbers, if you're using them for free, um, <clears throat> uh, you will need to use a different number from this flyer. Okay. Then look at this, you guys, have you seen this brand new all-inclusive kit from our kit collection? Co all is cozy and bright. Isn't it beautiful? So this is available now. Uh, you can actually order this now and let me throw up here. I'm going to throw up, hold on a second. Let's throw this up. There's my website right there. So you can hop over to my website. You can check out this kit. Uh, let's tell you what it makes because I did write it down. I ordered a bunch of them this morning because I do my retreat next weekend. And so I wanted to make sure I had them ready. So this, of course, has your stamp set. It comes with a block. It comes with Poppy Parade, uh, Poppy Parade ink. And what else? pre-cut pieces. So everything is uh, printed and die cut, ready to use sticker sheets. Some have sticky, some don't. 12 cards, you guys. It'll make 12 cards with the coordinating envelopes. Gold foil accents. Yeah. Linen thread. And then, oh, it looks, uh, it looks like it comes with a printed designer box for storage or crafting on the go. Woohoo! Crafting on the go, you guys. All right, so that is available now, all inclusive. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to throw this out right now. Uh, I expect this will sell out. And that's what happened last year with the Christmas whimsy. Uh, went very, very popular, sold out very, very quickly. People love to have the all inclusive craftiness of a kit. So if you love this one, I would suggest picking it up pretty quickly so it doesn't sell out. But, um, and I also have some here, I cash and carry them. So if you're attending my retreats, you'll be able to pick them up right then and there. Then we also have a very popular paper pumpkin for August. It is Sweet Sunflowers. It is two-step stamping. So a little bit of a technique there. It comes with two ink spots and a free gift, which are these cool little honeycomb foil accents. So I'm super excited on this one. Really, really love sunflowers and so many of you guys do as well. And <clears throat> so this one I expect will be a sellout as well. I don't know if they'll have many leftovers. <clears throat> so sorry, friends. <clears throat> I just got back from my morning walk. And so I am very sweaty and also very allergic <laughs> because I have to walk out through uh, the cornfields. All right. So I think that's what I have for you guys today with what's happening in Stampin' World. And what's happening in our little world? Well, summer school, you guys, summer school is still going on. We still have the month of August to play along. Look at my bucket. It is full of tickets. And I have not even put tickets in from uh, August yet. I have some of you guys have ordered some of you guys have taken classes So I'm not quite caught up yet from vacation, but that is my summer school bucket So all you have to do right now is like love comment or share when you comment if you comment here That makes it so much easier for me to find all your names to put into my bucket So everybody gets put in the drawing for summer school at the end of the summer you will, somebody, two people are going to win $25 gift certificates. So hello, shopping sprees. Okay, so now um, let's, well, speaking of paper pumpkin, let's check this out. This is my free giveaway. So I give away a paper pumpkin every single month. Did you guys know that? All you need to do, I'm going to throw up again. Let's throw up my Facebook group. Head over to Stamp with Jody B on Facebook if you're not already on there. I'll be posting this later today. This one is July's Paper Pumpkin, Sending Good Thoughts. Have not even opened this. This came while I was away, and so I haven't even opened it. So you guys want to check it out with me and see what's in there. Good morning, friends. Good morning. I see lots of you guys are here. Love it. All right. So what did we get in this one? We got a Bermuda Bay ink spot. We got a super cute stamp set. It says, wishing you all the best. 
Uh, sending good thoughts, thinking of you, can't wait to see you. What a great stamp set. And look, it's got cute little seahorse, the boat, um, some seaweed, some starfish. So I kind of feel like this is great for my boat loving, nautical, beachy friends. Talks about celebration. Let's open up our present, see what's inside. All right, so here's the kit. There are your cards that you will make three of each card. Oh, they're super pretty colors. Sorry about the glare. Super pretty colors. Love these. Oh my gosh, look at these little guys. And there's a little seahorse punch out and the little birds, the message in the bottle. I love this. It's so stinking cute. All right, so I give this away every single month. So hop over to Stamp with Jody B, look for the post, and then do whatever I ask you to do. Uh, in the comment. Usually it's some kind of fun little name game or something like that. And I will give this one away. All right. Love that. The other thing is cool is you always get a, you always get some tissue paper. You always get some pretty tissue paper. So it feels like a present. You can keep that and you would never have to buy tissue paper ever again for all your gift giving. All right. What's next, you guys? How about prize patrol? You guys are waiting long enough to stamp. How about some prize patrol? So a long, long time ago, way back when I used to do live videos, which was honestly, guys, like three or four weeks ago, it feels like, I always give away a prize patrol. So last time, way back whenever the last live was, I was giving away this jade and gold ribbon. And the winner, winner chicken dinner is my friend Robin Neff. So too bad I'm picking this winner today because I just saw Robin yesterday. But Robin, I'm going to stick this in your um, order when it comes. You'll have a little Prezi in there. So yay. Congratulations, Robin. And now our prize patrol for today is going to be adhesive back sequins. So all you need to do, again, like, love, comment, or share my video, sprinkle it around, and uh, you'll be entered to win. So you want to stop back next week when I have my live and see if you are the winner of the adhesive backed hexagons. All right, kiddos, you hung in there long enough. Shall we get to some stampin' fun? Uh, what we're going to do today is we are, I'm still not quite caught up guys. I'm still, I'm still trying to catch up with everything. Um, so I'm using my classes that I did. I do in-person classes and I hang out here with you guys. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to use, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to use my class from July and it's called Just Cards. Also my stamp club comes and, uh, stamps with me as well. So let's create this card. We're going to use Nature's Prints. So I went into the annual catalog a little bit. Still a little early for me for Christmas. I'm dabbling in Christmas, um, and I will start my Christmas stampa stacks this month, but it just seems a little early yet for, for Christmas, especially when it is 95 freaking degrees here, and I'm sweating right now because I just came in from my walk before I did you guys. So hopefully my sweat does not drip onto my beautiful cards. Um, so Nature's Prints today does come with a bundle. So there is your bundle. It's got, um, I have, it's a big bundle, right? It's a big, big bundle. So it's got lots of dies. Um, I'm going to use a couple of those images. So let's get crack a lacking. I'm going to work with Orchid Oasis and Sahara Sand. Okay. So this piece right here, dimensions will always be in the description of the video. So have no fear. And I need some scrap paper today. And I want a squishy pad. That just helps this one image I'm going to stamp. Okay, so I'm going to take my Sahara sand and I am going to, uh-oh, I already see what I have. Lost. We're using this stamp set. Do you guys have this stamp set? It is called Watercolor Shapes. All right, hang on one sec. I need a block. I don't have a block for my image. Hold, please. I always think that I'm ready and I have everything, but you know, in between, I do stamp and then I steal things from my prep buckets. There's a nice big cat hair. We have a cat now. We are cat people. We have my daughter's cat living with us. And he has become quite comfortable. 
laying on all of my stamp stuff. You know how cats are. He likes to put his butt on all my things. <laughs> all righty. So I'm going to ink up this rectangle. I'm going to stamp it off just one time because I want it to be a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to do that rectangle right there. So it's just a little bit of an image there. Very, very light. And that's all we're going to do with Sahara sand. So the next step, oh gosh, I'm missing my circle too. What a day. Let's see if I have an extra. I do. All right, there we go. We need our circles for our sentiments. So I'm glad you guys still hang out with me. Hi, Marsha. Oh my gosh, you're in rehab. That does not sound fun at all. Hopefully you're okay, and we're sure glad you're hanging out here with us. Tamara, you don't have this stamp set yet, but I bet you're going to want it. All right, so there we go. We're just going to add that image. I did it in the in the um, Orchid Oasis. And so you can see how it doesn't, that, that little background does not overpower the, um, this, whatever this is, the stem and leaves. <laughs> I'm sure it is some sort of. I thought maybe it was ginkgo, but I don't know. I don't know flowers or trees or all that. So let me show you one thing that I did. Um, let me see if I have it here. Yes. So this was a class that we did yesterday and I'll do a live on this one, but that's why I was missing the rectangle. It was being used in, on this, on this project. So I did it in pool party and soft sea foam uh, with the water, no, what's it called? Wow. No, what is this one called? Wonderful World. Yeah. Wonderful World. So I will be doing this on another a live, but if you wanted to see how I use those as backgrounds, pretty, pretty cool. I really do like it. All righty. So let's attach this to our Sahara sand. I've got three cards for you guys today. So hopefully you can hang out and visit for a little while. Then I've got to go run some errands in this heat, which I'm not thrilled about, but got to do what I got to do. There we go. Now we have our orchid base. So we'll fold that in half. Bone folder. Where'd you go? Hello. There it is. It was hiding. Hiding. I know it's mine because it got my name on it. Thank you to my friend Tamara Davis. I love that she can engrave those bone folders. So cool. She's also the one who makes these. You guys ask me about these a lot. Uh, my friend Tamara does this and she also does the engraving on bone folders. Super, super cool. Plus, she is super, super cool. All right, so let's now we have a uh, scallop and we have a circle. We're going to stamp our sentiment on there. We use that old Orchid Oasis. I love this color. And I'm going to show you a little trick here. I have trouble seeing white on white. That is, uh, I think, I don't know, old age maybe. I, I have trouble. So I'm going to put this. So now I can distinguish it a little bit better and maybe get my image lined up a little bit easier. There we go. Old age is fun. Can't see crap. All righty. We'll attach the circle to the scallop. And these are just done ahead with the layering circle dies. But if you guys have punches, you could use punches, whatever. Whatever you got at home, just make some cute little a cute little tag there. Then we need some of our pop tarts. Couple, that's just two should do it. All righty. Oh my gosh, it's a hundred where you are, Tamara. Good lordy. I think it's 90 here, 95 tomorrow, I guess, but we got that darn humidity. And oh my goodness, it just gets you sweating. All right, let's add some bling-a-ding-ding -ding here because everything's better with bling. Got to make some room. 
And these are the iridescent rhinestones. They're super pretty. So I'm going to use my picker tool here. Oh, your least favorite, Lori. Wow. This was one of my favorites, but I'm a purple person. I picked that up real quick. And the one that I didn't know that I would like as much of the in colors was a parakeet. So that one, I was kind of like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. But you know, it's, we have granny apple green, but oh my goodness, that parakeet is really, really one that I am drawn to, especially with black. Love it with the black. All right. So I'm just going to pop some of these on here willy nilly, no rhyme or reason. There we go. Just a little bit of iridescent bling for that. So quick and simple, easy card. How about it, you guys? Very, very simple. Now, I also think this would be pretty with Sahara Sand and the Starry Sky. Go with that darker blue. That would be really pretty as well. All right. Um, before we go on to the next card, though, I want to show you the DSP. I did not use the DSP in this card, but I want to show it to you because it's so pretty with the blue and gray granite. Okay, so this is, it's 12 by 12. I cut it down for video, um, but isn't that super pretty? I love that. Sometimes you, you need these as just easy backgrounds, right? That don't really make you feel guilty just for an easy background. We got some stripes there. Now this piece, dang on, that doesn't showcase very well because it's a big, it would be perfect for a scrapbook page, um, but it's got all kinds of design down in the corner. But when you cut it into the 12 by 12, you just get a little snippet. So there is that Nature's Prints designer paper pack. So I want to make sure you guys saw that because I love it. <clears throat> I'm kind of a neutral lover. I think that's what I tend to gravitate towards is the neutrals. All right, let's do another card, shall we? All righty. So this one, I know Father's Day is over, but I needed, uh, sometimes I need some masculine cards and this one is perfect for a masculine birthday using he's the man. No, he's all that. So I'm going to use that one today and we're going to use this little car right here and we're going to make ourselves a nice masculine birthday card because boys still have birthdays, right? Or it could be a car loving girlfriend. Either way, someone who is a classic. All right, we're going to take our white and we're going to fold it in half. That's our card base. This is a little smaller than normal because we're going to do something tricky with it. Now I've got two pieces of designer series paper. You could use either one. This is from the He's the Man DSP. I have a little strip here as well, and I'm going to attach those two together. I thought I had a sample, but it must have run off. Huh. Hold on. I found it. There it is. Okay, so let's run a bit of adhesive right down this edge. Oh, we're running out. Hang on there, get through today's live. So I just need a little bit of that showing off there, just a little bit of a strip. And I'm gonna attach that now to my card base. Now, sometimes it looks, whoops, don't go down. I don't have my glasses on either since I just come back in from my walk. You guys have that problem? Your glasses fog up. And so I wasn't even able to see when I first came in the house. My glasses were all foggy. So I took them off and now I don't have them on and I'm hoping things are straight. But if they're not, what's, what's going to happen? I got a little bit longer than I needed to. So I'm just going to trim that down with my scissors. There we go. All right, now check this out. How am I, I'm not real straight, but you know, who is? We'll see if I can straighten it up a little bit here. Just a smidge. I could let it go, but you know, then that's gonna dry me nuts for the rest of the day. There we go. Nope, oh, that's even more crooked. <laughs> 
<laughs> Give it up, Breck Bill. Today's not your day. <laughs> oh, my word. Isn't it fun? My eyeballs, glasses, bifocals. Oy. All right, that's how it's going to be. Okay, so there's my card base, right? All right, so now what I have is just a quarter sheet of espresso. So this one is actually cut five and a half by four and a quarter. So this is actually a um, full size card base, right? So I'm going to take the adhesive and I'm going to put this on the back of my card. This is my cheapskate way. <laughs> Go get my glasses. I'm not even sure where I put them because I come in and I can't see. And so I just like throw them off and now I'm in my studio. It'll be all right. We'll make a do. So there we go. Okay. So now this is the full size card base, right? That's the normal side up size of our card. I just did a quarter and then I made this one a little bit smaller. So my card actually mounts onto um, that card base. Isn't that cool? So the reason why I do that is two, two reasons. One, I'm cheap. Um, and sometimes I'm out of, um, I don't have enough of the card stock to make, uh, I had, I forget how many of these I had to cut 40. So that would have been 40 espresso card bases. And then I would have had to cut a white piece to go inside because you need to be able to see to write, you stamp your sentiment and write on. So I just cut my white a little bit different and I mount it onto a square of cardstock. Is that making sense? See how, see how I do that? All right. Now we're going to take a piece of our designer series paper and attach that to the espresso. We have a little bit of a mat behind it. And what I'm going to do at the moment is I'm going to take this piece and let's stamp our sentiment in espresso ink. So make sure if you guys want to do cards like this, um, check the description because I will have the dimensions there of how you will cut that. So just scroll down when this video is over and you'll see all the dimensions there. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this and I'm just going to give it a little bit of time to dry because my ink pads are super juicy. They dry really, really quick, but sometimes when you have, you have just juiced them, um, I don't want to smear it. So I'm just going to let that sit while I work with this piece right here. Now I have some linen thread and I just cut myself a big strip and then I'm going to trim it down. So I'm just going to do two little strips that will wrap around this layer. And I do that again because I'm thrifty. I don't want to waste ribbon wrapping it around. So I'm just going to do the, um, the tag method. I'm just going to tag these right behind here. Is that what the word I'm looking for? Tag. Um, so let's go right here and just glue those edges to the back. Okay. So like that. So see, I don't want to waste, I don't want to waste it. Then I glue them down because I don't want them coming off on me. And we're ready to attach that to our card front. There you go. Now see in my sample, I use the car DSP, which is pretty cool. But this one, I just have the Cajun craze layer. Okay, next thing we need, and I don't normally do this on live television, but I'm going to do a little die cutting for you. So we're going to get out our big boss. You could use the mini totally, but I already had the big one here because I'm going to use it for some embossing. But the mini, the mini will work as well. And to do our die cutting, we need plate number one. Plate number two, plate number three, and then I have my die from the He's the Man set as well. So let me see if I can get that on there straight. And then another plate number three, and we're going to crank that right on through there. And there we are. <clears throat> You're a classic baby. 
All right, let's add this with some dimensionals. So I'm gonna put a couple here, pop those up, just for a little bit of dimension. And then I'm gonna take that little bit of leftover twine and uh, thread this underneath. Easier said than done sometimes. and just tie a knot. I don't want to stress myself out trying to tie a bow with this little tiny, this little tiny piece. Okay, so I've got a knot, trim my edges off and I'm going to do them fairly short and then I'm going to just untwist it a little bit. So I'm just going to fray those ends a little tiny bit. There we go. Now, bling a bling, right? Uh, where did you come from? You need to go back some more. Yeah. All right, so I have the rustic metallic dots. I'm almost out of them. So let's use them up. And do I wanna do, I kind of thought it might be cute to do them in like the four corners but maybe we'll just go with my original thought and do three little ones down at the bottom in a row here. Try to get them straight. Push them down so they stick and we are good to go. So there you go, very easy and quick birthday card and then you can stamp your sentiment inside there. You can maybe even add a little bit of DSP just to doctor up that inside because we don't always like them plain, but very, very quick and easy card. There it is done with the card DSP. All right, cool. You guys wanna hang out and we'll make one more? You don't have a choice, I'm staying here. Alrighty, next one is going to be another quick card. So as I mentioned, these are my Just Cards classes. These are in person. So my gals come and they stamp with me in real life. And uh, then I like to show them to you guys so that you don't feel like you ever missed out on anything. But I keep them very, very simple. This would be my class if I had a brand new stamper. I would be like, hey, come on into my Just Cards class because everything's pretty, pretty easy. I do some of the die cutting ahead of time too. Um, but I like to do nice, simple cards. But then there are times when I'm like, I need nice, simple cards because I need a bunch of them. And so sometimes quick and easy is the way to go. So this one is going to be black and white with a pop of color. Let me get all my bits here. All right. And, oh, um, let's take a step back and show you DSP from the man. So, again, this is a 12 by 12 pack. I just cut it down. So, here are your patterns. Um, really, really great. I love this. That was always a good one, the little camper. And there's the other side. Cool, right? And then of course, there's two more sheets of the die cut pieces. So if you have not seen those, check those out in the catalog. Oh, they're so awesome. I don't have them here. But you get two sheets of all kinds of fun things that you can use, little die cut pieces to make cards or scrapbook pages or all kinds of fun stuff. So now we're gonna move on to card number three, our black and white one, with a pop of sweet sorbet. And I am using, that's my inside, I am using the, pool. the name just left me, perfectly penciled designer series paper. It's our black and white one. Again, a 12 by 12 pack, and it is in our annual catalog. This one is really, really cool because you can do lots of coloring or leave it black and white. Oh, Tamara said she used those die cut pieces for Father's Day cards. They made super cute cards, super cute. So this is our perfectly penciled black and white DSP, I love it.
and it is fun to color with as well. All right, so we're gonna use that one and we're gonna attach that to our piece of black and white. So we can glue that down a while. Hoping my adhesive will hold out while we finish. Me too, Lori, I just love black and white. That was my whole wedding. I think I've mentioned that before. My wedding was black and white as well. All right, now I'm going to use this embossing folder. I'm pretty sure, well, it's really hard to see on camera. It's called Pretty Flowers. So let's get Mr. Big out again. And this is why I wanted to show you how this embossing folder works because it's very cool to make super quick cards. Now I only have just a little piece of white that we're gonna emboss, but did you guys know when you look at your embossing folders, if you look at the Stampin' Up! emblem, if it is toward you, that means the image is raised up, okay? So sometimes that matters, sometimes it doesn't, but if you are running something through and maybe you've pre-stamped it and you're going to emboss it and you want your raised, raised image towards you, that's what the, that look for that Stampin' Up! label, that means the image will be raised up towards you. Hey, Deb Swisher, I just saw your note come up um, or your comment come up and I have some stuff here for you. So your, all your goodies came from our Christmas class. They are here, ready to go home. Um, the other thing I want to tell you about the embossing folders is this line right here. Okay, so if you see that line there, that is a guide for you to maybe put the edge of your cardstock through so that you could have it nice and straight. Sometimes you'll use it, sometimes you don't. Like I'm not going to use it because I want to go in here a little bit farther and have all those flowers in there. But you can use that as a guide to help you keep things straight. So we're gonna put that in. And some embossing folders, it matters, and some it does not. So when you're running your embossing folder through, a good habit to get into is the seam or the fold goes into the machine first. That just helps a little bit with the pressure and helps it not damage the hinge of your uh, folder. Because this is, this is a heavy duty crank. It's off center there. Let me center it back up and try again. It's scooching because I got a piece of paper underneath it. All right. Thank you, Mr. Big. All right. So let's check out what this looks like. Oh, I love it. So pretty. Isn't that cool? All right. Now, the one thing with this embossing folder, super cool. You can use both sides. A lot of the embossing folders you can. So this is what's called the emboss side. This is what's raised towards you. That's where the Stampin' Up! the logo is, means it's raised towards you. But you can flip it over, and that's called the debossed side. Sometimes that's just as pretty, too, where everything's indented. So dealer's choice. You can decide which, which one you want to use. I don't need this. So let's attach this to my piece of sweet sorbet. Now, when I use embossing folders, I like to add a lot of adhesive because sometimes they get all lumpy bumpy. Oh, nuts. It's cut too small. All right, hang on one sec. I'm just going to do a quick little trim. Hold, please. All righty. Sorry about that. I stuck myself to my paper. Is that better? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So much better. Sometimes that happens when you're cutting hundreds of pieces. Okay, so there we go. We've got that. Now, somewhere I should have a little bit of ribbon. It's gone missing. Well, while we're at it, let's stamp instead and we'll see if that ribbon magically shows up. I'm going to use Sweet Sorbet ink. And I'm going to use the Just For You stamp. My There's my sample. I used Hey There. But I'm going to use this one because that's what's on the block. Just For You. And that stamp is coming from Charming Sentiments. So many good sentiments in here. And then, of course, there is die cuts that will cut out all kinds of cool things. 
especially the sentiments. So check that one out. Charming sentiments. It's a great, great sentiment stamp set. Pretty sure it's Lisa Curcio's million dollar. Pretty sure. Okay. Now my ribbon did not magically appear. Yes, it did. Look where it's hiding down in there. Come on, ribbon. You can't hide from me. All right. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Just need to have a little bit to ta tag around the back side. So I just trim that off. Got some adhesive stuck to my finger. There we go. We're just going to wrap that around the back side. Then I can attach this to my card base. I'm out. It's done. Let me see if I have another one. Hold on one sec. You guys are having to hold a lot. I does. I got a fresh one. All right. Next step. On to our black and white card. There we go. A couple pop tarts for our sentiment. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to tie my bow first. That's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> Let's tie a bow. This ribbon is glittery and slippy. It's crazy. So it takes a little bit of patience to work with it sometimes. It's very pretty. But because it's got that, that glitter in it, it slips out of my hand a lot. So we'll trim those down. Now we can do some pop dots on our sentiment here. And there we go. We'll just slide that right in like that. And ta-da, another super simple card. So let's see what all we made today. We got our just for you, we got our happy birthday, and we got our hello there. So some great cards, super easy to create. Don't forget, you can hop down in, into the description, scroll down a little bit, and have the dimensions. So if you guys want to make some of these at home, you will know exactly how you need to cut them. So thanks so much for visiting and hanging out with me, you guys. Oh, let me show you one more thing. We were talking about those die cuts from the masculine the he's the man dsp so there's some right there this piece is one of them that little piece of notebook the you're a classic and the little stars this is a foldable a mini foldable scrapbook that i made um so i used the dsp and then i used some of those elements like there's one to uh create this album so there's one right there here we got one one or two down here. And these are already printed. You just pop them out. They're super, super cute and easy to use. There's right here. We got one there and one there. Bunch of those. See all those elements? They're already done in that pack of DSP. Super, super cool, right? There we go. And that is my mini foldable album. So some of you guys actually took this class and I will be prepping it this week. Actually, it's not the, ma the masculine one though. It is um, the hues of happiness one. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for stopping in. Um, don't forget to come back and visit me next Wednesday for What's Up Wednesday. I'm probably going to have some cool things to share with you. Um, I don't know what we're going to work on next week. I have an idea in my head. I need to just have a little bit of playtime in my studio to get this idea out. All right, my friends, again, hey, don't forget to head over to my Facebook group. Make sure that you are a member there. And later on today, look for the post for the paper pumpkin giveaway. Okay. All right, everybody have a wonderful week. Thanks for hanging with me and I'll see you next week. Bye friends.